In this video, I talk to you guys all about breakfast and what makes a healthy breakfast. What's going on guys, Tyson Brown here and today's video, like I said, is all about breakfast cereal. So a lot of people, you know, we think we're eating pretty healthy when it comes to breakfast time and we always choose a cereal or a carbohydrate for our actual energy source. So you know, as you can see here, I've got Wick Bix, Cheerios, Fruit Loops, uh, some muesli, some chia seeds, you know, there's all these different things that people have for breakfast and 99% of what you're eating is just complete shit, all right? So the biggest thing that people think when they're being healthy, when they go from an unhealthy diet to a healthy diet, like you might have used to eat Fruit Loops or you might have used to eat Wick Bix and then you've moved on to something that you think's healthier, like Cheerios, because it says whole grains, or you even move towards muesli. But what you don't realize is that you're just consuming a whole bunch of carbohydrates and a whole bunch of calories that you do not need, all right? So if I just look at the serving size of here now, let's say 30 grams for uh, a box, uh, for 30 grams for a serving of Cheerios, which nobody has 30 grams, because if you measure 30 grams into a bowl, it's nothing. You would have maybe 45, 50, maybe even two servings of this. And all it is, is just carbohydrates. I can see right here. So 22 grams of carbohydrates out of uh, one serving. So let's say you're having one and a half to two servings. So you're having like between uh, 30 to 40 grams of carbs just in this. Then you add your milk and then if you want some sugar or honey or whatever you guys have. And the same goes for Wheat Bix. I mean, if you're gonna eat Wheat Bix, people will put sugar or honey on it because you're never gonna have Wheat Bix plain. But I think the biggest thing is what people get lost about is the muesli. So they think when they go on a health, they're gonna choose something healthy. They'll have some muesli, they'll put some chia seeds over it, they'll put a dollop of uh, Greek yogurt or something, they'll add some nuts, they'll add all these little flavorings, and it winds up being like six to 700 calories for breakfast. That is just, just empty. It's just carbohydrates and it's just fats. Like yes, they're good source of fats, but you can be having a lot, a, completely different breakfast that's going to help you towards your fitness goals that's going to get you to where you want to go faster because you don't realize that you might think this is healthy but it's actually just a whole bunch of wasted calories if i read it right here one serving of this muesli has four grams of protein five grams of fat and 32 grams of carbohydrates okay 32 grams so one serving of this more carbohydrates than this more carbohydrates than fruit loops in a serving like yes, it's got the healthier option, but it's still a whole lot of calories. So if you're having trouble losing weight, it might be from what you're eating for breakfast. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of cool tips you can actually do instead of having all this crap. First thing you need to do, focus on a protein high breakfast. Protein high breakfasts are gonna kickstart your day. They're gonna be the best thing you can do. Things that I like to have for breakfast, well, I'm not actually eating breakfast at the moment because I do intermittent fasting, which I'll talk to you guys about in another video. But things I would usually have for breakfast would be eggs. You could have high protein Greek yogurt like Chobani yogurt. You've got things like uh, if you reduce all this stuff, you can actually have lean cuts of ham, bacon, things like that. Toast is another one you want to cut out too. People think toast is healthy, like eggs and toast. No, cut it out. You do not need all those. All these empty carbohydrates you're getting and they're not going to be beneficial for you. This might sound weird, but I actually eat um, meat in the morning too. So if it's not eggs, or if it's not high, like you know a high um, a high protein Greek yogurt, have some chocolate meat, have some fish, or have some steak, or have some chicken. So, you know, it's it's not bad to have it. You can have it. You can have lean cuts of bacon or ham, like I said. It's just changing your like what you're having usually in the morning to something that's going to keep you full for longer. You're going to have less cravings during the day for sugary foods because once you start off with a sugary high carbohydrate breakfast your body will be craving carbohydrates for the rest of the day so if you want to flick the switch and not have that turned on like not turn that on reduce your carbohydrates in the morning change to something like this but let's say you did have a high like a high protein greek yogurt well what are you supposed to have with it have some berries or have a couple of pieces of fruit but don't have it on its own. Fruit by itself in the morning is not a good option. It's still carbohydrates. What we think healthy is, like I had a piece of fruit for breakfast or I had some muesli, it's just like another source of carbohydrates. So these are still healthy, yes, but they're very, very high in calories, which you want to avoid. So what I suggest is change breakfast, 
try and have some protein in the morning instead. Feel how much fuller you are for the, during the day as opposed to just having this or having some fruit loops or something and then a couple of hours later you get hungry again. You know what, you could even have Greek yogurt, high protein Greek yogurt, a little bit of nuts or some chia seeds sprinkled over it with a couple of pieces with some berries mixed in. It tastes amazing, it's healthy, it's high in protein and I'll tell you what, it's probably gonna be about half the amount of calories that you're consuming with this type of crap. So that's the video today guys. Now I've got a question for you all. What type of breakfast are you gonna try and have in the morning? So maybe you're gonna have two eggs with some spinach. Maybe you're gonna have some, cook up some steaks for breakfast. Maybe you're gonna try the uh, high protein yogurt. Comment down below with what yours is and make sure you like this video and share it with your friends so they know that they should be changing their breakfast to make it high protein, give them more energy during the day and reduce their hunger. So until next time, see you then.